So guys, who wanted to trade the Lakers or the Cavs? Because the Lakers, they sent Larry Nance Jr., Jordan Clarkson to the Cavs for Isaiah Thomas and Channing Fry. People are saying the Lakers won the trade because they've cleared up space for two All-Stars in 2018. They can now sign two players to a max contract and people are speculating that they cleared up that space for LeBron James and Paul George. That's what people are saying, but then again, I gotta ask you guys a question. That would be the most dumbest thing the Lakers could ever do. Unless they're planning to get rid of Isaiah Thomas because you can't have LeBron James, Paul George, and Isaiah Thomas on the same team. That won't work. He didn't work in Cleveland. And also, this won't happen for another reason. Paul George, he was asked about free agency and he said he's happy with the Thunder. But he made it known that, listen, although I'm saying I'm happy with the Thunder, I'm still going to look at my options. I might still leave. So right now, LeBron James and Paul George, they're playing the free agency game well because they're saying, well, I may not leave or I might leave. So every NBA team, bring your best offer. Now, LeBron James has been linked to the Warriors, the Rockets, the Lakers, maybe the Thunder, but LeBron and Paul George joining the Lakers? I don't see it happening. The Lakers, they're not ready. They're still too young. But if the Lakers can get rid of Isaiah Thomas, then maybe LeBron might consider joining them. But as of right now, I don't see LeBron James joining the Lakers to play with Isaiah Thomas. But right now, the Lakers, they've cleared up enough space. They can sign two players to a max contract. And also, it gets tricky because LeBron, Jason and Paul George are not the Lakers' only target. Because the Lakers said they also want Klay Thompson, Jimmy Butler, and Kawhi Leonard in 2019 when they're free agents. We're going to see what happens. But the Lakers, so far, I mean, they're doing good. 